Beautiful life yeah. from the Andrea Doria, uh, which for those who don't know, 1956 tragically had a wreck with another ship and sank and uh, 40 some odd people, 46 people I believe. It perished. departed from Genoa on a nine day trip to New York. 1,706 people were on board. And at 11 o'clock at night on July 25th, uh, the Stockholm struck the uh, Stratford side of the Andrea Doria and it uh, fatally damaged. 31 Get people at the... were killed. Uh, and amazingly though, with that number of people on board, so many did survive, many of them getting on the Stockholm to survive. Uh, Lauren, so, Lauren's on board right Lauren now. Lauren is on the She's actual on board. Board. Wow, So let's go to her right now. Lauren. Yeah, I'm on one of the rescue boats, those lifeboats that help rescue so many of those passengers. And joining me now is Mark Koch. You are a collector of rare antiquities, such as the Andrea Doria. What was compelling to you about this boat? It was part of the Italian-American history, so we decided that we were going to go ahead and restore this vessel. It's uh, the number one lifeboat that was used to rescue passengers on the uh, July 25th, 1956. On board today, we have uh, uh, several of the survivors as well as uh, several divers that also uh, participated uh, in adventures on the Andrea Doria. We certainly want to thank the Association of American-Italian Educators, Ms. Josephine Nieta, and of course Ms. Uh, Burette Simpson, who was a survivor herself. Uh, she was only 13 years old, 9 years old at the time. and. Um, She's also a film producer and author, and uh, we certainly are thrilled to be participating in this event today. We're riding on history right now. Only 47 people saved, in part because of these lifeboats and the ones on the, on the other boat, from what I understand. That's right. It went down as one of the greatest maritime rescues in history. So it's, uh, it, it does represent a significant piece of Italian history, American history, as well as uh, maritime history. Now we've got the bell, and I understand that you are going to ring this bell twice. And two times, just quickly, why twice? One in honor of Christopher Columbus, of course, and one in memory of the casualties, the souls who perished, 46 of them on the Andrea Dori on the Atlantic. And what a story you have that you survived. Oh, yes. I was with my grandparents immigrating to America when the collision struck off Nantucket Island, and then we had to take a lifeboat. So thank God I'm here because of a lifeboat, but it was so harrowing being lowered into a lifeboat because ours did not work and so the ones from the Ile de France came to us and I was lowered with a rope around my waist dangling into the ocean and I could not see where I was going except into the black ocean and then we rode away on the wow. Ile de France lifeboat. What an incredible story. Thank you for sharing and why don't we take a listen to that bell and then we'll send it back to you guys. Go ahead. John Moyer, who retrieved this with the team uh, on the Andrea Doria shipwreck. Thank you. Here we go. The bell from the Andrea Doria, rung by Perrette Simpson, one of the survivors of that rescued ship in 1956. Let's send it back to you, Ken, Joe, and Maria. Wow. Lauren, thank wow. you. I wow. just want to say that this is an unbelievable story, yeah. Yeah. And, and that bell is solid brass. It was, um, it spent nearly 30 years deep in the Atlantic. And look at it today, Amazing. solid brass. And I, earlier I said the number of people who died, 51 people actually uh, the Andrea Doria was fatally damaged and, and 46 of those people were killed. So the death toll is 46 from oh, the Andrea Lord. Doria. Lord, that's and amazing. Amazing, and thank goodness there were other ships in the area because it was a busy fishing, uh, shipping channel rather. So a lot of big ships were there. It was a foggy night. Uh, that's how the, uh, the, uh, the, the boats originally collided. But Ile de France, as she said, nice to meet you, ma'am. I'm looking at the survivor Really right unbelievable. Thank you what so much. What God honor. bless you. And thank you for being here to tell the story. Great to see Amazing you. story. So the Ile de France picked up so many story. of those people. Yeah. Wow, that is history right there. And, and how amazing that, that a dive team was able to go <laughs> down and retrieve something so heavy. Solid brass bell, but you get chills when you hear that bell. And she all of those she smaller amazing. boats that came, and as she told the story, she had to be lowered down to actually get in the boat. She said one of those fishing boats didn't work. Oh, and you didn't know. If you were a parent, you didn't know if that was going to be the last moment you'd see your child alive. How right there. Can I yell like that? How old were you? How old were you? 
she was nine, nine years, years old. old. God bless you, girl. Wow. God bless you. It's an honor to meet you. God is good. Honestly, yes. yeah. She was nine years old. What wow. a story. Thank you. That, yeah. that is something, that the uh, that the ship was actually recovered, and now we have it on Fifth Avenue in New York City, and all the way from Genoa. With the, I'll tell you what, the sun is shining behind us, and we got the sun. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Rosanna walking up. We're going to talk to Rosanna in a second. This is such a great celebration of Columbus Day. This is so big, so huge. And it, uh, Speaking of Rosanna, yeah, Rosanna Scotto, girl. Let's, let's see the backstory of Rosanna Scotto, folks.